We are counting down to the start of what we hope is another college football season now just 31 days away scheduled as for right now it's clear the only certainty is uncertainty. Some things we do know NCAA Board of Governors is considering canceling its 22 fall championships. Keep in mind regular season games would still be at the discretion of the individual school and their conferences. And speaking of conferences, the Big Ten and Pac-12 will play only conference schedules. Meanwhile, the ACC, Big 12, and SEC were expected to announce their schedule decisions by the end of this month. It's July 29th. Has to be coming any day now. Those decisions, however, could be pushed into early August. What we do know is ACC presidents are meeting today. It was supposed to be on the docket about their schedule and what they are going to do. And yesterday, NCAA President Mark Emmert sat down with our Heather Dennett to discuss the upcoming season. He said he remains, quote, very concerned about the status of fall sports and thinks that a delayed start and a shortened schedule might make sense. What clouds all of this is that the NCAA doesn't have a quote unquote commissioner to make a decision on behalf of everyone. It's a conference and a school decision. We now welcome an ESPN senior writer, Heather Dinich. And, and Heather, what was your biggest takeaway from your conversation with Mark Emmert? Well, two points. One, when you hear somebody in a position of power like the NCAA president suggest it might make sense to delay the season, that carries significant weight. And I think that that's gaining some steam amongst conference commissioners and athletic directors throughout the country. The second quick point is he mentioned that Board of Governors meeting that you talked about, they're going to meet again on August 4th and continue to consider the possibility of, can of canceling fall championships, 22 fall championships. Championships. That's a critical part of this whole piece of the puzzle to decision making because if they do that, it could have quite the profound effect on every other sport and every other championship, including the big boys of college football. Yeah, and Heather, we're kind of living in this twilight zone because we've all been in this this life bubble of quarantine and, and time's ticked away. It's July 29th. There are schools and programs that are supposed to be in camp and starting camp early next week. And here we are without a decision being made. And that includes the ACC presidents and chancellors who are meeting today to discuss the league's scheduling model. What are you hearing about what's going on behind closed doors with that group? So to give you an idea of how much is up in the air, one ACC coach texted me at 1230 today and said he was going to have a team meeting and give his team the schedule. And now he says he's going to have a team meeting and give them the emoji shoulder shrug because he doesn't know. One ACC source told me at 1230 that he's sitting on the sitting there waiting to hear what the presidents are going to do as well. So the bottom line is this. They went into the meeting this morning, the presidents not knowing what's going to happen. They might vote. They might not vote. So everyone, including coaches and athletic directors in the ACC, are waiting to find out. You know, it's Sooner than later. It's amazing because that's the one thing. The one thing we all say with with people that we talk to that's consistent is no. Everyone says I don't know. I don't know. Heather, quickly, how is that possible? No one knows. It's, it's possible because they continue to change their mind because, as you mentioned before, there's not one czar, one voice of college football. This is a patchwork effort that goes from the state and local governments, the coronavirus, the medical experts, layers upon people making decisions. That's where you get the convoluted process. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.